and uh, you were very good friends with the late Terry Wogan. Ah, yeah. It's been God. a sad year for you. It's been a terrible year. been yeah. a terrible year. Terry and a few others too, Dean, St Dean Stewart and Frank Kelly, and all, a lot of really, really, really good friends. And Merrill Haggard the other day, who was also a man I knew very well. Um, and all of those people, it's just, it's got to the age, you know, I've got to the age where I'm going to more funerals than I am Christmas. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah. that's the age yeah. it comes. So it's part how of life. You, how did you meet Terry? I met Terry here, um, um, in, down in... Um, the GPO, right. not in 1916 now, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> down when we were at the, that's where we used to broadcast. Oh, yeah, I, that's yeah. where I began broadcasting. You, yes. you probably weren't, no, you weren't. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, at that stage. <laughs> Thanks, but, we, <laughs> <laughs> but you've been around, you know, yeah, you've yeah, been yeah, such yeah, an experienced yeah, yeah. man. I thought about, we, we used to be in there, and then that's where I met him there, and then I was a fan, I was only a student at the time, and I remember going down to Rathmines, Rathmines Church to see himself and Helen being married, because it was a big thing at that day. I was, yeah. I was down to me basically looking from a distance, maybe Roman collar, peeping over a hedge. We often laughed at that afterwards. Um, and uh, then when I went over to England to do shows, I, I was on with Derek Jameson first, and then I came, I, I, Terry was on television at that stage, and I used to go into him when I was over in London. We'd go in and have a chat in Shepherd's Bush where he'd do the programme. And I used to go down and stay with himself and Helen and the family uh, in their place. Um, and he, he just was, he was the loveliest man, so good to me all my life. Uh, he took care of me. He, he would make sure that I was looked after when I was going over to the BBC. He'd bring me out for morning breakfast himself and Paul and all the studio, yeah. and we'd chat about things. And he would, you know, he would always sit, he would always tell you the right way to go about getting through to an English audience because it was a big thing. There was, and he built it up from about two million to ten to eight million. Yes. Chris has now ten million. Um, and himself and Chris were great friends, and he recommended Chris for that job. Um, and when was uh, the last time you spoke to Terry? Oh, the last. Well, I spoke to him often uh, uh, over the last year, but the last I uh, spoke to him was just before he died. Uh,